They start with logs cut from spruce or fir trees. Turning them into construction wood isn't that complicated. First, they soak the logs for about 20 minutes. This removes the mud and softens the bark to make it easier to remove. Next, the logs go through the debarker, a machine with a rotor that shaves off the bark. The rotor has six sharp blades that take just 10 seconds to shave a log bare. In the filing room, they regularly sharpen and inspect the saw blades they'll use to cut the shaved logs, straightening them back into shape when necessary. In this sawmill, there are two production lines. The wider logs go through this saw. The worker at the controls uses a laser to help him position and reposition each log as he runs it through the saw several times to cut it into as many 4 by 10 inch pieces as possible. An average log usually yields about 7 or 8 pieces. The narrower logs go through a different saw. This saw first cuts a board off each side, then sends what's left of the log onto another saw. The 4x10s on the first production line go for a second cut called the resaw. They're cut in half into 2x10s. The logs on the second production line end up here in what's called the canter bowl machine. It has eight adjustable circular saws that can cut the log into various sizes of wood, anywhere from 2x3s to 2x8s, depending on the log's diameter. Both production lines feed to machines that smooth the edges and trim off any defects that can affect the strength or resistance of the wood. Then an automated sorter drops the wood into bins according to their size. Each bin then feeds the stacking machine. From here, they'll put the wood into a kiln to be dried to about 15% humidity. Then they'll grade the pieces and ship them to a lumber yard or renovation store.